How's it going, everyone? Maryland here, and this is for Pokemon Shield, not Pokemon Sword. This is actually my first playthrough through the game. I'm going to show my impressions of this. Uh, if you're playing Pokemon Sword, there should be a link in the description to how this goes if you're playing that, but this is how it is in Pokemon Shield. Anyway, here's back to my original recording from quite a while ago. Arg, I lost. I won all the pot. What? <laughs> there must have been something wrong with my strategy, but I did just what I've seen Lee do in battles. Here, take it. It's the Ice Leader's League card. You should check out the Gym Leader. You'll have the face, too. Yeah, Melanie's League card. Nice. And me? I've got to figure out what to put on my team once and for all, and no more of this doubting. Right, so anyway, how's it going everyone? Maryland here, and we're going to be checking out the Winchester Gym, or Stadium, except in Pokemon Shield instead of Pokemon Sword. It's very different, it uses Ice-type Pokemon in it instead of Rock-types. So yeah, there are of course a few things that are the same, so you can talk to the ball guy here. I heard that a wishing star fell to you, that means you were chosen by the wishing star, and that also means I've got a Pokeball for you. It's a moon ball! How wonderful. Moon balls are curious Pokeballs. They're very good at catching Pokemon that evolve by using a moonstone on them. Pokeballs are just full of surprises, don't you think? Yeah, something like that. Uh, yeah, anyway, what do you have to say? Uh, nothing much. So, yeah, I guess we should probably get this out of the way, right? Let's go ahead and attempt the gym mission. Okay, time to put on my uniform and see what this mission is all about. Okay, please head on in to pick up the trap detector. You'll need it for the gym mission. Oh boy. Well, let's see what this is all about. Hmm. I swear every ice gym looks like this. Oh look, it's the old dowsing machine. <laughs> Would you like to hear the details of the gym mission carried out here in Surchester? Uh, then allow me to explain a little bit about the trap detector you hold in your hands. The reason you'll need it is simple. There are invisible pitfalls everywhere in here. If you fall into one, you'll have to start again from the last platform you reached. The detector will vibrate when there's a pitfall in front of you. The closer to the hole, the stronger the vibration. Hmm. Then on with you, and good luck. Okay, well, thanks. Oh, I can't even run. Can you hear me? Stay calm and move forward. Who? Oh, okay, so this is kind of interesting. I'll go ahead and fail it here, but yeah, you can see visually there's the, uh, well, the little <laughs> note thing. Notice, what do you call that, waves? Like, I don't know if it's supposed to be sound waves or what, but yeah, you can clearly see that with the uh, the trap detector thing here, but something you can't see, you can only feel it, you can feel the vibrations on your controller, whether you're using the Joy-Con or whether you're using the Pro Controller. I could definitely feel it, so yeah, that's obviously something you won't easily be able to see on the video. <laughs> ah! I mean, I guess there are worse things than this, right? Should I just fall down all of the holes? So then we see exactly how to get through here. <laughs> I'm doing this on purpose for the record. I think it probably does make it a little easier. Okay, so being a uh, an ice type gym, I'm definitely going to want to use either fighting or fire type Pokemon. Well, I happen to have these here. Actually, it's steel types. They work well. Rock types work well. Ice has a lot of weakness. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway, I think I'm just going to go in with my Arcanine here and hope that we don't run into any water types. As long as I've got ice type Pokemon with me, I can stay totally chill. All right. Well, chill, dude. He's got a Snom. It's so cute. It's just this tiny little ice bug thing. It is gonna absolutely roast, though. I almost feel sorry for it. Ah, well. Hmm. 
That really wasn't too tough, now was it? <laughs> what? There's no way I could lose! How did you think you could win is the better question. Okay, well, let's see. So from here, maybe... Oh, no, seems like that's a, uh... Not the way I want to go. I don't know, there's a way. Maybe it's... Ooh, it's feeling pretty intense here. Ah, no! Alright, well, maybe it's down this way, then. Oh, okay. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. So, yeah, I guess I have to avoid... Avoid it like so. No! <laughs> oh, alright. Now, that time it wasn't on purpose. None of these times, actually. So, sometimes you just have to make a judgment call. Uh-oh. Oh, that's cool. It shows you where they all were. That's actually kind of handy. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but I like it at the same time, because then it'll be very easy for me to take, like, a picture of it or something. All right, so, yeah, probably same... Oh, no! So this is going to be especially rough, because it's just little patches of one. But, you know, it's not like the end of the world if you fall through it or anything. Oh, it's very strong over there. No! I guess judging the size is rather difficult, too. Because I don't know if it's going to be, you know, one wide or... Oh, well... <laughs> I mean, I guess we're not going that way. Or this way? There has to be a way through. Uh, whoa! All right, whoa! All right, let's just hug this rock, maybe like go along here. Hey, it actually worked. All right, what's going on? Gym Challenger, I'll freeze you and your Pokemon solid and shatter you into tiny pieces. Wow, there's a taunt. Jeez. <laughs> Alright, she looks so happy saying that, too. Oh, it's Cloyster. This is bad news. Well, bad news for my Arcanine here, but I have a good solution to this problem. Actually, a new Pokemon I picked up recently. Added to the team. Let's go ahead and switch out for it. We'll send out Zapadoo, my Toxtricity. Razor Shell. Of course you got the defense drop. Well, it doesn't really matter, because this discharge is going to absolutely destroy you. Ugh! It looks really cool, too. Love the new animation on it. And of course, toxtric Toxtricity itself. That's a hard name to pronounce. It's pretty cool looking. There's, of course, the two variants of it. I did get them both, but this is the first one I got. All right, let's see. So I need to avoid activating that thing. Can I just, like, walk right through here? It's not going to be that simple, is it? Um, okay, well, here we go. This is pretty good. Hey, buddy. Gym Challenger, are you aiming to battle Melanie, too? Mm -hmm, that's why I'm here. Bear tick! Big bear! Alright, well, let's melt this thing as well with some flamethrower! Oh, yeah. Oh no! She might get cross at me if she hears I lost to a challenger. Well, I mean, you know, that's kind of why you're here. To lose to me, right? So is it? I don't think it's going to be that simple. I think I have to walk around here. It feels pretty intense right there. Okay, oh no. This is actually kind of cool. <laughs> no pun intended. Oh no! Ah! Oh, oh, okay. Oh, that's nice. So it starts me back at the last platform I was at. I guess I thought I had to go back to the very beginning. Well, that's so much better. And in, in that case, it might make more sense to just, like, walk and just see. 
You don't really lose that much time, then. Alright, well, there we go. That wasn't too bad. So where were they all? Oh, dear. Oh, man! That's quite the minefield! Uh-oh. Oh, no, am I not going to be able to see very well? Oh, this is bad. I can barely see! Uh, whoa! Alright, well, I guess it would be best if I just depended on my... the vibrations of the... the thing? Alright, well, I'm sure I have to go through here, right? Oh, no! Ah! <laughs> oh, man. This is actually a pretty, uh, pretty entertaining puzzle, I have to say. Like, I feel like it can be unfair, but in the, the like, oh, this is fine way, like, in a, oh, it got me way, you know? Like this. Oh, come on now! How am I supposed to get through that? Like, it's not a huge deal if I fall. Unlike, say, oh, this is a platform right here. Unlike, um, I don't know, some of the gyms from, say, Gen 3 with ice types. <clears throat> or water types, I guess it was. Or, I don't know, it seems like any of them, if you make one mistake, it can cost you a lot of time. Whereas with this, it's like, oh, okay, I made a mistake, no big deal. It's all good, keep carrying on. Alright, so let's take out this Avalug. This lovely little frozen coffee table, I actually have a perfect Pokemon for it. Yeah, it has a lot of defense, so you don't want to use physical moves. Okay, well that's done. Be nice if I could see a little bit more. <laughs> uh, let's see, I think if I fall, it's not really a big deal, because I'll just go back over there. Yeah, that's not too bad. Well, see, at least now I can see where I'm going. I guess I need to not go this way. If I hurry, I'll only end up going in circles. Where's that voice even coming from? Are there people hiding? Okay, so I think there's actually something to the left and right of me right here. Ah! Well, we're gonna find out, am I right? Okay, so I need to go here. Um... There's that hole. So let's go along this side. I'm predicting a zigzag of some sort. Uh-oh. And... Oh, here's a platform. Thank goodness. Oh, hey, look at that. I think I cleared it. Wait, it couldn't be that easy now, could it? No, nope, there's no way. I know I have to walk around in some mundane manner. Not really mundane, but like obtuse manner. All right, let's see. Wow, that was a pretty big one. Ah, yep, I knew it. I knew it. Okay, so let's continue forward here. Actually, I should check and make sure my Pokemon are healed. Zapadu could use a little bit of healing, which I keep forgetting I can just do the restore option as a shortcut. Ah, uh, here, have some fresh water. Actually, I guess a potion or two would have been fine. Actually, no, fresh water was exactly what I needed. All right, well. Onward to take on the sixth gym leader. The gym leader of Surchester. Oh man. And of course, this will vary. If you're playing Pokemon Sword, you'll find an entirely different challenge there and an entirely different gym leader waiting for you at the end. This is only for Pokemon Shield. Hi, Melanie. As you can clearly see, I've assembled a team of all Ice-type Pokémon. You! You aren't sore all over from falling in a hole or two, are you? Even if you are, I'm not going to hold back. Alrighty, I suppose we should get started. You won't be able to escape when I freeze you solid. And after that, well, you'll see. I think you'll find my battle styles quite severe. 
I like her hair. I know it's an odd thing to say, but it's like... It's really big, and she has, like, this stripe on it. Oh, yeah, here we go. You are challenged by gym leader Melanie. Frozmon. Yeah, that's the evolution of that Snom we saw earlier. Or Snom, or whatever it is. That's a cool-looking thing, though. Ooh, it's very pretty. All right, well, thankfully, I'm pretty sure Flamethrower will be enough to take it out without much issue. Let's go ahead and use that. Burn it to a crisp. Of course, Rock would also work pretty well against that, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, get a little bit of experience there. Darmanitan, oh boy. Now, of course, you might be thinking, Hmm, fire? What's that? Why, why do we need a fire type here? Well, <laughs> uh, not quite that simple. I think I... I don't know, I'm actually a little worried about it. Maybe I should use Burn Doggo after all. Yeah, we're gonna keep you out. I think that's fine. Yeah, so... <laughs> Darmanitan's looking a little extra chilly, huh? Yeah, this is the Galarian Darmanitan. And, yeah, it's an ice type. And it hits like a truck, so I gotta watch out. But I think Flamethrower will do pretty well against it. Oh, wonderful. I was able to take it out in one hit. I guess that's a good thing. Don't have to worry about what it could have done to me. I just got rid of it right on the spot there. Ice Q. Hmm. Hmm, all right, I think I'm gonna send out... <sighs> you know what, I wanna see what this thing's gonna do, so I'm actually gonna send out something that's not, like, ideal against it, but maybe we'll be able to see it in action. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, it has an ability that would've let us see that anyway. <laughs> Look at that thing, it's like a little penguin, except it has an ice cube block for a head. Well, let's go ahead and Steel Wing that thing, because of course Steel is effective against ice. What? The ice face. <laughs> oh, I broke your face. I'm sorry. Amnesia, ooh. Well, I'm glad I didn't stick with my Arcanine. Freeze Dry, oh dear. Now thankfully Corviknight here Despite being flying, isn't actually weak to ice thanks to its steel type, so that's quite handy. All right, well, Ice Q's been taken down. It's kind of like Mimikyu in the sense that it'll take one hit, and uh, yeah, then it'll change its form like that. Okay, so Lapras is up next, and you know what? I kind of want to try out my new Zapadu here. Lapras being a water ice type. So it is weak to electric, which is kind of handy, but otherwise, fighting works, rock works. Steel won't, but you know, even if it cracks, ice is still ice. I'll show you what I mean. Fighting would work, fire won't. And I'm pretty sure grass is still super effective too. All right, it's Dynamax time. Let's go with some max lightning. It's time to get big, Zapadu! Yeah! But he's not the only one about to get big. Come now, go on and Gigantamax. I'll let you freeze everything solid. I'd like to see you try. Oh, boy. That's right, it's Gigantamax Lapras! Well, let's see how it does against my Max Lightning. That actually did pretty good against it. I can't even see his head. Oh, man, this thing's so tall. My partner's signature move invites you to a sub-zero world! G-Max Resonance! Oh boy. 
Wow, that wasn't even super effective. Oh, it sets up an Aurora Veil, too! Wow, that's really handy. So that's basically the equivalent of both Light Screen and Reflect. Wow, nice. I think I'll still be able to do enough to take it out with Max Lightning, but yeah, that would be very tough to take down if you don't have something super effective. Thankfully, there's a lot of things super effective against Lapras. That was a good gym fight. I liked it. I had a good team for it, though, that's for sure, but yeah, that was fun. You defeated Gym Leader? Gym Leader Mel Melanie. I keep saying Melody, but it's Melanie. It's just spelled interestingly. I just want to climb into a hole. Well, I guess it'd be more like falling from here, right? Ah, uh, yeah, something like that. You, you're pretty good, huh? Of course, seeing my Pokemon lose is sad, but to meet someone so young with such ability is quite grand. Here, take the Sparkling Ice Badge. <laughs> I love Sparkling Ice. <laughs> oh, man. All right, anyway, the Ice Badge. Yay! You can now catch Pokemon of up to level 50. For some reason, I can't help but imagine my son challenging you after you become the champion. If that time comes, give him a right thrashing, would you? All right. Marilyn, my sincere congratulations for your victory over Gym Leader Melanie. Please take this commemorative TM. TM27 Icy Wind. All right, thanks. It's not super powerful, but it's not too bad. And of course, I get the ice uniform. Nice. All right, well, that was pretty cool. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider liking the video, subscribing to my YouTube channel, and turn on notifications to get updated. Be sure to check out my website for more Pokemon Sword and Shield coverage, including a full mobile-friendly Pokedex, a powerful team builder, and a written walkthrough. See you next time!